ECFM is everywhere. So it's part two of Story of Hope with Nastasha Kotza. Nastasha, thank you so much for making time available to chat to us this morning. Absolutely so looking forward to hearing part two. It's a pleasure. Good morning, Jonathan and Rachel. It's good to be back this morning. Um, and hello to all the listeners. I'm Nastasha, and yesterday morning I shared how Jesus saved me 19 years ago. Um, I was on a road of destruction, a path of destruction, really just lost in my sin, on my way to hell. And then when I was 18 years old, I met Jesus. He filled me with life. He ripped sin out of me and he came to live on the inside of me. And it's been 19 years now. And so if you missed that testimony of what Jesus did for me, check it out from yesterday. But from that day that I received Jesus... I've had a burning passion and desire in my heart to see the people around me who don't know Jesus come to know Jesus just like I had. Freely I receive Jesus and I freely I get to give him to the people around me like it speaks of in Matthew 10. And really, I, I, I believe I'm speaking to many born again believers here on the show this morning that at some point, maybe a month ago, maybe 10 years ago, Jesus saved you. Freely you received them. And now freely you get to give him to the people in your workplace, in your family, your exercise buddies, the cashier at the shop that you shop at that does not know Jesus. Freely you have received them. And now freely you get to give him to the people around you. I want to share this morning with you a testimony um, of how powerfully the, the Lord can use you in your everyday life. Um, to see the lives around you come to Jesus. And so this testimony is just such a powerful testimony for me because I got to see the after story in this man's life. So it was in 2019, I went for a job one Friday evening and I ran past this guy with long curly hair um, and a black hoodie on. And I just felt in my heart, I need to go back and share Jesus with him. The word double popped into my head and I ran back and I said, hey, my name is Nastasha. Um, when I ran past, you know, I just felt like Jesus loves you so much. And I just feel the word double, like he wants to do double in your life right now. And um, I said, hey, what's your name? He said, Albert. He's like, that's amazing. Like for the last two weeks or so, I've just been open to whatever God there is out there. And now you're coming to talk to me about Jesus. That's amazing. And so I said, can I share with you what Jesus did um, in my life? And he said, yes. And I shared my born again testimony with him. The conviction of the Holy Spirit through my testimony, I think, just pierced his heart. And in that moment, he blurted out, well, I don't know what God's purpose is for my life. And I said to him, the boldness of the Holy Spirit came upon me. And I said to him, well, Albert, if Jesus was standing here in person right now, you could just ask him, what's the purpose for my life, right? And he would tell you. And Jesus lives inside of me by the power of the Holy Spirit. So let's just ask him and he will answer you right now through me. Um, just Amen. taking the risk and that faith and a step and so we prayed and immediately a picture popped into my head and I said Albert I, I just see a picture of you in a musical band and you're singing and he's like no way me and my friends we just started a musical band and and I'm like are you the singer he's like yes I'm like, that's amazing again just God knowing him personally in that moment touched his heart and again, he just responds and he says, well, I don't know what the plan, um, how to live out God's plan for my life. And the power of the gospel rises up in me. The Holy Spirit speaks again through me. And I say to him, well, Albert, unless Jesus himself comes to live on the inside of you and live his plan out to you, you can't live out God's plan for your life. And the only way Jesus can come live inside of you is if sin comes out of you and for that to happen you need to ask forgiveness you need to receive what he's done for you on the cross today you need to ask jesus come live in my heart today i turn away from my old life and from today i start to follow you jesus do you want that right now and he says yes and we pray together and he gets born again and <laughs> um 
it was amazing. I, we took each other's numbers. We got into contact with each other. He joined our small group for a, a while. And a few weeks later, my husband baptized Albert, the old Albert, dead under that water. And the new Albert um, resurrected out of that water. It was amazing. Albert, I didn't know the backstory, but he was set free from depression, from anger, um, issues from substance and, and drug abuse and um, his whole life turned around from that day and he then started actively sharing Jesus with the people around him, with his old friends, with his family members that were not yet born again. He started going out onto the street sharing Jesus with people there, people coming to salvation. It was amazing what the Lord did through this man's life. He started going, the Lord sent more um, uh, Christians on campus where he was studying in a part of an amazing church there to disciple him. He's now a leader in that church. And in the beginning of 2022, he married an incredible um, godly Christian woman. Her name's Kristen. And... Um, they then started joining our Stepping Out Outreaches where I take teams out to public places and we go and pray for people. We share the gospel with people and they were leading many people to salvation on these outreaches. And so freely they received Jesus, freely Albert received them and immediately freely Albert started giving Jesus to the people around him. So much so that in the, um, the beginning of last year, Kristen did a school of evangelism with CFAN, Christ for All Nations. It's an eight-week school. And during the school, there were 16 students who from morning to evening shared the gospel with people in the communities and the schools of South Africa and Cape Town. And at the end of this eight weeks, they led 5,004 people to salvation. And so this is just such an incredible testimony of how the Lord can use you in a moment in Maybe those three minutes that I, was, that I turned back while I was jogging in 2019 and look at what the Lord has done. He has written this incredible testimony in Albert's life and I get to play a small part of that. And what the Lord wants to do through each born again believer. Right now, I believe the Lord is raising up believers to be witnessing believers and he's bringing in the greatest harvest the world has ever seen right now this is one testimony of thousands of testimonies of what the lord is doing to bring people back to salvation and so i want to pray with you if you are a born again believer i want to pray with you right now that you would come and be an active witness and that the holy spirit would come upon you with boldness and power right now and so if you are hungry for him to come and to fill you with that passion for the lost i want to pray with you right now holy spirit i pray for every person listening that's hungry to also freely give what they freely received no matter how long ago that was. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you come and bring an urgency in hearts for the lost around them, for the people in their family, their workplace that don't know Jesus. I pray, Holy Spirit, that like it says in Acts 1 verse 8, that you would come upon each person right now that's hungry for your power. Come upon them with a boldness and with the power to be your witness. Enable them to do the work of witnessing that we can only do by the power of your Spirit. Come upon them right now, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. And I pray today that they would be active in sharing their faith, Lord, with the people around them. That like it says in Philemon 1 verse 6, that as they are active in sharing their faith, they actually know you more fully, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Looks like you need a team. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Amen. I want to just jump into that stepping out mm. event. Uh, can you tell us more? What's happening? Where is it happening? What are the dates? How do people get involved? Yes, thanks, Jonathan. So we will be holding our first um, gospel event. It will be called, it's called Freedom Fest Durbanville Gospel Event taking place here in Durbanville where I stay. 
We're going to hold a gospel event where I'm going to preach the gospel. We're going to invite people in the public to come, people who don't know Jesus to come. It's going to take place on the 26th and the 27th of April on a Friday and a Saturday evening. Heinz Winkler will be coming to share his born again testimony. The gospel will be shared. People will be saved. And I want to ask you if you or anyone that you know needs Jesus to come into their lives, to rescue them from pain, from addiction, from brokenness. They need healing in their physical bodies, in their hearts. Jesus is there. He's going to show up. He's going to touch people. He's going to save people. He's going to set them free. And so... um. You can check out the link to get your free tickets there. But come join us as we lift up the name of Jesus in this place in Durbanville and see lives forever transformed by the power of the gospel. That is powerful and that is amazing. Mm -hmm. That is so, so good with regard to that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you can go and you can just check out. Uh, there you can see there's two nights. Here's night one. Uh, and just absolutely incredible and night two. And it is a free event, hey, Nastasha? It's a free event. The gospel is free. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So there's the link, stepping-out.eventcube.io forward slash event for those who are not watching this. But uh, Nastasha, I just really trust and believe that many, many mm. people are going to come out, bring their friends. That's what it's I about, right? That. Yes. So if every person listening right now, you can come bring your family, bring your friends, those people that you have been trusting for for years, bring them. They will see God powerfully touch and transform their lives. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. That is awesome. Well, that's where we're going to have to leave it for now, Nastasha. But I don't want to leave it there completely. So will you join us tomorrow, please, for part three of Story of Hope? Will you? Yes, yes. I will be joining you again. Thanks, Jonathan and oh. Rachel. No, thank you so looking much. Looking forward to it. Yeah, looking mm. forward to it. Uh, just a sneak preview. Mm. Nastasha and her husband were struggling to fall pregnant for... Mm -hmm long time yes the doctors gave us a three percent chance i don't want to give too much away but oh, uh, yeah so don't, <laughs> and, and people i know that there are people listening and watching this who know people that are struggling who are in that space nastasha has agreed that tomorrow she will pray so come on let's do this amen to amen. god be the glory amen. amen god bless you i love it i love it and thank you so much thanks jonathan thanks rachel we are made new. Thanks, Lincoln Brucer. Thank you, God. You're calling me over. You're pulling.